Hey guys, welcome back to The Privacy Guy. Um, today I'm gonna make a quick video um, just covering a topic that I've seen mostly in YouTube videos, but I've seen covered elsewhere on the internet. And that topic is de-Googled phones. Um, basically what these are are just smartphones similar to you know, Android devices or iPhones really <clears throat> uh, that just have a different operating system that doesn't include any of um, Google's Android technology or any Google tracking or uh, Google you know, location history or anything like that. Um, there's a couple of these phones um, that are more popular and those are Purism and then there's like some Linux phones that just run on you know similar devices to Android and iOS. Um, I have written about Purism before it runs on its own operating system that's based on transparency, privacy, security, all that stuff um, and it's an open source operating system which is uh, attractive to anyone concerned about their privacy. Um, and then there's eFoundation which is kind of doing the same thing as Purism just trying to implement privacy into uh, smartphones. Um, and de-googled phones, uh, the reason that people use these is because they're concerned about Google's influence and ability to track all of their location data, all of the apps they have installed, um, and often their communications in apps like Gmail and Google Hangouts and stuff like that. Um, I definitely would recommend using a de-googled phone if you're uh, concerned about privacy. Um, they're gonna be better for security than something like an Android or an iOS device uh, simply be because people aren't gonna try to hack these phones. Um, although they might, there's just a lot less for them to gain than if they were you know, hacking into Android's operating system or iOS because millions of people have those phones but um, the market for de-googled phones or privacy-friendly smartphones is much smaller. Um, so that's just another thing to keep in mind if you're trying to protect your privacy on a mobile device and um, you know you don't know which operating system to use, I'd recommend something that's de-googled. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.